The superintendent of Vigo County School says the corporation is in the red to the tune of several million dollars. Tonight, he discussed why it happened and what can be done to correct that situation. Taylor Williams attended the meeting and she joins us in the newsroom with more. Taylor. Thanks, Mike. Tonight's meeting was all about informing the public on the school's finances and the school's plans for the future. The Vigo County School System's finances were on full display during Monday night's school board meeting as residents learned that the corporation has been deficit spending since 2016, resulting in a cash balance decline of more than $8 million. Just that we believe that there are things that are catching up to us. Continued decline in enrollment. We've made a substantial commitment to protecting our children's health, safety, wellness. We want to continue to to protect that, but that comes at a cost. Vigo County School Superintendent Dr. Robert Hayworth says that the decrease in money is a result of reduction of state and federal funding, student enrollment, and the increase of students living in poverty is hurting the corporation. Hayworth also contributes the lack in funds from the increase of public safety and wellness. That includes police officers, nurses, and counselors, the increase in transportation costs, and textbook fees. The second part of the presentation focused on improving corporation facilities. In May of 2021, school officials plan to hold a referendum to generate funding that would renovate the high schools and school corporation buildings. Dr. Robert Hayworth says there is no simple solution to address both current and future needs. He says the best course is a combination of budget reduction and an operational referendum. Asking our community to consider is the possibility of an operational referendum in November that does not address the $8 million. It addresses a part of that $8 million because the school corporation will be trying to remove $4 million from its budget over a two-year period. A number of residents were surprised and overwhelmed by the numbers, but are happy to see officials are working to improve the school system. Pleased to hear more about how the uh, school superintendent and the school board have listened to the community. They may be for different kinds of tax dollars, but everybody pays them from the same pocketbook when you're an individual. So we've got to pay attention to the whole picture of what our taxes are costing for the things that are important to Vigo County. The school plans to hold public forums to get the input of residents. The times and locations will be announced in the upcoming days. If everything goes according to plan, Vigo County residents will get a chance to vote on the issue this November. All right, thank you, Taylor, for that report. To see the presentation for yourself, you can head to our website, mywabashvalley.com.